how you guys doing today? It's Lamore. That's kind of whack. Let me do it over. How you guys doing today? It's Lamore. Welcome to my channel. Today I have a new video for you guys. Um, I'm going to show my fellas, ladies, um, whomever is trying to smell rich. When it comes to smelling rich, looking rich, feeling rich, it's all about um, manifesting and feeling it first you know so when you're wearing fragrances um you want to smell rich you want to smell luxurious you want to smell clean you want to smell crisp um there are fragrances that the rich do wear um i'm not rich myself yet but i assist a lot of rich people and wealthy people that come into the store and buy these fragrances and smell luxurious and they always seem to pick up the same scent all the time you know um they'll come into the store they don't have to be wearing all the uh, major brands out there but there's just a a way they carry themselves a way that they talk um a way that they present themselves and they're very knowledgeable about the fragrance but they still like to learn as well when you talk to them about the fragrances they're open to listening and um you explain a certain things to them and you can maybe give them a sample but they always go for those same scents so today I'm going to help you with four fragrances that make you smell like the rich. So let's get it started. The first scent we have today is going to be Clive Christian X by, oh, well, Clive Christian um, X for men. Um, this scent right here has chorus, cardamom, has some cinnamon in there. This is that spicy, seductive scent. When the rich come in, they're going to a nice either ball or the governor's ball or um, somewhere where they can go and they'll be in the nighttime. Um, they go for this scent right here. It's very warm, it's very seductive. It's a little bit on the sweeter side and fresh side, but still has that warm seduction that kind of draws you in. So if you're going to somewhere like an evening night out or somewhere very sophisticated where you have to wear a tux or a suit, wear Clive Christian X. You'll smell rich, you'll smell luxurious, you'll smell clean. It's amazing scent for men and women. I did say that this is Clive Christian X for men, but women can wear this one as well. There is a woman one, but the men one just kicks and hits a certain way that's going to make you smell luxurious and clean with that cinnamon and that warmness. It smells make you smell almost toasty and clean, you know, which I love. So Clive Christian X is the first scent that I'm featuring to smell rich and luxurious. All right. For my second scent, this is my favorite scent from Creed, which is Royal Oud. This one right here has the lemon in there, pink berries, has bergamot, has some uh, sandalwood, oud. This right here is not your normal oud. And for the rich, they're not normal. Um, they're either in a big business or they're uh, running a business or they're making um, something of the unusual so that they can sell it to the masses that we need, you know? So um, when it comes to the rich wearing this scent, they always come into the store for the Royal Oud. They do have the Aventus at home, but their second scent usually is the Royal Oud. I have a lot of um, Royal families that come into the store as well from like um, Abu Dhabi or the Middle East, and they go for the Royal Oud as well. It's super sophisticated. It's clean, it's rich, it's robust. Um, I, I love this oud because you know when you smell oud, it's a little bit more harsher and a little bit more warm. This one doesn't punch you in the face. It's smart, it uh, um, dries down very, very sweet, clean. Um, if you love oud and you're looking for something different of the oud family, really, really try the Royal Oud from the Creed um, collection. It's super, super clean. You know, I'm so surprised that this even has oud in it. Um, but when it dries down, it kind of gives you that oud feeling and that sweetness. But in initially, when you spray it, you smell the lemon and you smell the pink berries, which I love. So um, Creed Royal Oud is an amazing scent for that individual that wants to smell rich. That's like going on a date. If you want to impress someone um, on the first date, wear the Royal Oud up. Bet you they'll ask you what you're wearing. It's an amazing scent. It carries throughout the day. Um, I don't really wear this to work too much. It's not really a work scent for me. This is like a 
going out somewhere very nice, luxurious, like the SDK or a nice restaurant or a nice um, evening out somewhere where you're going to have a lot of fun, go with Royal Oud. It's going to carry throughout the night and you might have a lucky night. So Royal Oud is my second choice for a rich scent. To keep it in the Creed family, um, Aventus I had to feature. Aventus is that scent that just everyone knows it. Like when you smell this, um, a lot of times I have a client come in and be like, oh, my um, boss wears this, my manager wears this, um, the women wear the Aventus for her. It's just such a boss scent, a boss rich scent. You're definitely running a company if you're wearing this scent. If you don't run a company or you're starting up a company, wear the Aventus or emulate that boss running a company type of vibe, which I love. So when I go on like a new uh, interview for a new position or I'm going like um, somewhere, I'm going to meet some higher ups. I'm wearing a Ventus. This scent just resonates with them. Um, it smells rich. It smells like you got your stuff together that you know what you're doing. You know what you're talking about. It's just a beautiful scent, which I love. It has the bergamot in there. It has the tonka bean, ambergris, a little bit of vanilla in there in the base bergamot, pineapple. It just hits so many key points, which I love. It's not your traditional fresh, um, fresh fruit, um, fresh, clean scent, sporty scent. Is that fresh, seductive, sharp, sophisticated scent. It just hits all key points. That's why it's loved by many. So the Aventus uh, by Creed is another scent that I'm picking for my rich people and my rich scent lovers. All right? And last but not least, I'm going with the Rouge 540 x -Trait. Now, when it comes to Rouge 540 x -Trait, it has the ambergris in there, a bit of almonds in there, saffron. This one right here is a little bit more sophisticated, longer wear, um, a little bit more oils when it comes to the Rouge 540. So if you want to smell more rich and luxurious than the Baccarat users, go with the x -Trait. It has a hint of sweetness in there that some people, it deters some people, but the long lastingness of this scent is just going to, it's going to wow you. It has the longevity, it's clean, but still has a little bit of hint of complexity to it that has the saffron and a bit of almonds. Um, it's rich, it's luxurious. If you're going somewhere like a dope concert, you know, I would wear this scent right here. If you're going somewhere where you're gonna meet um, a date and you wanna kinda impress her or him, whoever, wear the scent right here. It always hits. Men and, and women love it. Um, it's just loved by many. So I'm going with Route 540 for that rich scent. This is that new rich scent. So if you newly um, become wealthy or rich, wear the Route 540. Then you could kinda transition into the Royal Ouds, the Ventus, possibly the Clive Christian X, and so many more scents that are rich and luxurious that people don't even know about, like the brand Amalfi. Um, I've seen that brand many times, and I'm I'm curious to see how it smells. I, I haven't even smelled it yet, but that's the rich and luxurious scent that you can wear as well. So uh, Rouge 540 for the win, always. And let me know in the comments what you think. Do you have any of these scents? Have you become uh, rich? in the past couple of years. Congratulations to you if you become rich or wealthy. Like I said before, rich is um, a way you carry yourself, but it's also subjective as well because whatever's rich to you, if you have a roof over your head and you have clothes in your back and you have a job and you have stability and you have someone that you love, that can be rich as well. So rich doesn't always have to equate to money and how much your finances are. It could be how you feel, whatever you think is rich as well. And um, let me know in the comments, what do you think about being rich? Or um, what are your thoughts of being wealthy? Um, what's your number, your magic number that you're looking for to be rich? You can let me know in the comments about that as well. And give this video a thumbs up if I helped you and subscribe for more. All right, peace.